fantastic week I just want to say thank you so much to all my new subscribers for joining the fam so recently I took a little vacation and I made this mask and I decided to make a big big mask inspired by that and I made a whole costume inspired by that and I'm gonna show you all the stuff I did and I'm gonna also show you all the details of my costume that I made I'm gonna do a little voiceover while this is going first I'm just making paper strips for our paper mache masks This is homemade Play-Doh that my husband made out of salt, flour, water, and oil. You can look up recipes online for it. We didn't use exact proportions, he kind of just went to town. But basically you use this to make the mold underneath your paper mache mask so that you can get the shape that you want. You can use clay, which would actually work a lot better, but um, this is just a really inexpensive option. Another thing we used was some paper index cards to give some shape. Next you want to use some plastic wrap and make sure you get into all the little grooves when you push it in so that it holds the form of the play-doh underneath and then just build up your paper mache you just dip it in a mixture of glue and water or flour and water and lay it on top of your mask and then you can do some molding with it too and add some effects like I added eyelids to my bunny. Before you take your paper mache off the plastic wrap, make sure that it's totally dry and hard. Here's a little time-lapse painting of my bunny. I just painted white on top of it. When you do your first initial layer of white paint, make sure you don't go too heavy at first so you don't get it warping. I do this painting part in two parts. This is just the first section, then I add ears and I go back in and do some more painting. I'm using acrylic paints here. Here I'm making my ears, I'm just using a cereal box. And I decided to fold them and sew the bottoms together to make them structurally more sound. Just hot gluing those on. I had a little tab in the back and in the front to glue it on so it would stay more upright. And here's my second layer of paint going on there. After I painted it the first time I realized it's a little bit more pink than I wanted and I wanted something more yellow-orange. Also I added in little bits of mint color. I just thought it gave some more interesting feel to it. Time to talk about my outfit. All right, let's jump right into the costume that I made. Number one, this is just from a thrift store, probably. I don't know. This is from my mom's costume stuff. But let's take a peek see. <sighs> Features of this outfit include a really large button-up shirt that I got from the thrift store and this jumper that I made all by myself. I did not use a pattern for this. I had my husband draw a loose outline kind of wider than my body all around it. And then I just made it have a drop crotch and some straps at the top so I could tie it. On the sides, I made these little button things. Guys, I even sewed a buttonhole. I don't know if I did it the right way, but I did it. See? Woo! This tail. Mm -mm -mm. I uh, upcycled someone's little stuffed animal. So it was like a tiny little stuffed bunny like this, but I took off the arms and legs and head and I shoved it all inside the belly and then I sewed it into a circle. <laughs> Last on our list of things. The bottoms of these pants are all squunchy, but they come untied. Well, 
Well guys, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic October ahead of you. If you guys have any cool ideas for your Halloween costumes, let me know what they are down, 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 down below. Have a fantastic week, and I hope you guys have the most fantastic Halloween. I'll make more videos before then, but in the spirit of all this, have a great Halloween, guys. Okay, goodbye. Now I have so much leftover Play-Doh, so I'm gonna feed it to my chickens. They freaking love it, even though it's so salty and disgusting. <laughs>